Hey folks, it's Mrs. Bones Tracks Day 19, and as you can see, I'm down by this busy highway, and uh, that's because Mrs. Bones is right down here in the same spot she's been for, well, several days, several weeks, let's put it that way. Um, take a look, take a look where she is. She's down here deep in this, she's down here deep in this grass. You can see her shell there. Probably foraging for slugs and snails and such, as usual. The uh, problem is that, uh, well, she's right here in this grassy strip between um, the pasture and the road. And just a few minutes ago, as I was coming out here to locate her, a huge mower came by and mowed this strip right here. I talked to the guy and he said in uh, quite broken English that um, he uh, was only going to mow this one strip. Well. I couldn't seem to get across to him that there was a turtle living here in this grass and um, he said I'm gonna come back later and do the rest so it looks like we're in a little bit of a dilemma here and that is disrupt science and move the turtle or leave the turtle and let science and nature take its course well in this case humans are the one that caused the problem with this box turtles habitat we put a road here so in my opinion, it's humans who should help the animals. So I'm gonna help this turtle. I'm gonna move her up into the forest and let them mow the strip and then she'll find her way back down here. She's done it twice already. She's been moved, she's came right back. She knows where she is and we know that and she knows she wants to be here. So once it's mowed, maybe she'll decide that the grass is too short and she'll need to go somewhere else. So here we go, I'm gonna pick her up and take her up to a safe place so she can't get so she won't get mowed by this lawnmower that's about to come through here all right come on mrs. Bones there she is boy that is one chunk of a turtle she has got to be full of eggs I don't know what that is on her side there what have you been into mrs. Bones all right let's go put you up in the in the woods in a safe place get you out of this danger zone Well, I'm up here deep in the forest and I have Mrs. Bones and I'm gonna let her go right over there in those ferns. Um, the reason I chose this spot is it's open to the sky. There's some sand and gravel nearby and hopefully if she is gravid, that means pregnant, full of eggs, she will choose this spot to lay her eggs. This area is never mowed. It's, it's very secluded. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it would be a great place to lay your eggs if you were a female box turtle. Not down there by the highway. So hopefully we can help her pick this spot to lay her eggs. But since she has a transmitter, this will be a good study in box turtle behavior. Will she stay here and lay her eggs in this spot? Will she go down to the back? Will she go back down to blah, 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 blah? Will she stay here? Will she lay her eggs in this spot? Or will she go back down to the road where we just picked her up from in that dangerous place that's not a good spot for a box turtle and lay her eggs down there? definitely not a good spot for baby box turtles so we'll see what happens all right mrs. bones I'm gonna let you go all right I've placed her right over here underneath these ferns it's not the grassy strip down by the road but hopefully she will see it as a safe place there's a lot of good cover here and lots to eat, I'm sure. <laughs> Speaking of things to eat, she had a nice juicy slug, or a piece of one, on her beak um, when she popped her head out just before I set her down here on the ground. So that tells me that another reason she's going down there by the road is food. There's obviously a lot of things to eat down there in that tall, damp grass along the road. Now, apparently slugs are one of them. 
So hopefully she can find a lot to eat up here and she won't have to go down there. I'm hearing thunder off in the distance again. This has been a great year for rain, great year for slugs, snails, other chewy things that turtles like to eat. And uh, it's definitely not a drought situation like it was this time last year. All right, that's it for Mrs. Bones, and we will see you next time. There she is. What will she do? Only time will tell. We'll come back and check on her next week sometime. See you later, Mrs. Bones. <laughs>